Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Thank you for being here and thank you for the super thanks. All right, you guys, today we'd like to throw a few cards on Kanye and wife, Bianca Sensory. A lot of people on TikTok are saying he's an emotional abuser uh, by forcing her to wear these translucent tight outfits uh, basically she's bearing it all in front of public, uh, just that she's like his sort of fashion muse, uh, without her approval. Uh, when I, what I read about, they got married two months after his divorce from, from, um, uh, Kim. He did that. It's pretty quick, fast moving. Very, I will say this, based on my knowledge of psychology, this guy cannot be alone. He cannot be alone. He's got to have a primary source of supply. He is a narcissist who cannot be alone. He's a he is a typical cannot be alone. Needs a primary source of supply. Landed it quick. Okay. I think she hooked up so that she could get some of that fame off him because apparently, allegedly, entertainment purposes, the source of wearing that stuff is not out of abuse. But for attention is attention is attention, and to create, um, to create people talking. She basically worked for him as the head of architecture for the sneaker and clothing for Yeezy. Uh, she does have criminal ties from Italy. Her family has had a lot of prison, drugs, heroin, lots of arrests. Very notorious criminal family. Uh, but they relocated to Australia for a quote-unquote fresh start. Don't know how quickly that fresh start came, unfortunately. Uh, apparently, Bianca has a secret team of designers to help her with her translucent bodysuits and uh, the tight of tights material. Uh, the barely there suggestive look. Yeah, barely there suggestive look is what everyone's talking about. And um, it's all coming from both of them. They're both doing it as well as with a, a team of designers. So she's very willing participant since she worked for them. Uh, the abuse is being rallied around on social media. A lot of people are very unhappy with it. They say it, it looks just absolutely horrific and awful, uh, which it does. I agree. It looks ridiculous. It looks like complete total two narcissists just desperate for attention. That's how I see it. So anyways, yep. Yeah. And basically what they came out saying is they're just trying to stir controversy around Europe. Well, they did that. He got to the point where he forced her to quote, have interracial uh, relations. Let's say, I'll just say it was the ace of wands, which is a phallic symbol relations, some hot, hot something going on, on one of the um, gondola rides to the point where the company now will not allow the pair to do that. So yeah, pretty bad. Pretty bad when you've been blocked from doing that. Kim spoke out, was absolutely embarrassed for them, okay? Um, she's only 28, and um, it's all to garner public attention. Well, attention is attention is attention is attention. How is this pair gonna do? How is this, it's basically it comes across to me very narc on narc relations here, which means who's gonna burn out quicker? Who's going to demean, devalue, block, all the same, it's all a game. This relationship screams, it's all a game. It's just all a game. So I don't think they're really in it for each other, but the game, it's just a game, is what I feel from them hardcore. Uh, two toxic people coming together for public attention screams, just a game. It's not love, it's just, it's enmeshment is what it is. It's the devil card letting their shadow side of himself and uh, the shared fantasy enmeshment of uh, let's do something just for attention. Attention is attention. They also want that six of wands card, which also is about attention is attention. It's to look like winners, trying to get people to notice us, get the efforts of being noticed, trying to get recognition, trying to glow up. It's celebrity. Uh, they want that star card. They want people to look at them. They want to seed and grow as attention seekers. They have succeeded so far. But how is it going to go? What's going to be the end game for these two? Because it's all a game. It's just a game. They won't understand why people think this because they don't think like this. Let's just put it bluntly. 
They don't understand why what they're doing is considered toxic because it's just a game. Very sociopathic people do not understand when people don't get what they're doing. Well, I was just having fun. It was just a game. Why was that wrong? Uh, I don't get it. Why was that wrong? It's called lack of insight. It's called judgment in reverse. People are, it's a negative announcement from other people. People, it's just, they have no self-awareness. Zero. And people are saying no. And they don't really care. And they keep doing it. Uh, when people cannot have boundaries like that, and they have very loose boundaries, and they don't get why people are upset with them, you know something's not quite right up in the membrane, okay? Something is just not quite right. So let's find out. How is this going to go between the two of them? What is do we need to know about the two? What do we need to know about Kanye and Bianca? Kanye and Bianca. They're going to walk away from each other. They're not going to stay together. They're going to relocate for a new quest. They may go, this could be them going somewhere else uh, where they feel they have mountains and obstacles. Not sure what they're going to find, but let's go find out. Uh, they're not going to be concerned about what they've done in the past. It's very grifter vibe. Uh, this is the card I get on Megan and Harry. <laughs> Yeah, that <clears throat> grifter vibe that uh, Spotify claimed them to be. So they're grifters. They're grifters like Megan and Harry, basically. Uh, with the Eight of Cups, with the Eight upright, uh, they're looking for to regenerate themselves and control the direction of what they do. So they may go. That's probably why they went to Italy. They go from L.A. to Italy. So they're grifter vibes. Let's go to another country and let's stir up controversy and attention. That could just be it. But let's find out what is the challenging position. Challenging position is everyone's talking about them. Uh, this is what they want, though. It's very harsh commentary, very harsh communication. The two of them have very harsh communication, too, as well. Also, the challenging position of them being grifters and going to different places looking for attention, thinking that the grass is greener somewhere else, because the Eight of Cups is all about the cup, about going away for empowerment. It's going to be greener somewhere else. Maybe somewhere else we'll get more attention than what we got in the last place. So they do argue a lot about that. That the Harsh, harsh conversations about where to go next. Where should we grift next? And uh, relocate to get some more empowerment. Uh, and you know, make sure that we can regenerate ourselves and control the direction of our image. They're really about image control, but the commentary is not... Um, is so harsh that it's not looking good on them. And so that's the harsh commentary of people saying that he's abusing her. Uh, the, the Page of Swords is also arrested development. They're both like teenagers. They're not adults. They're between the ages of zero to 12. Yes, so they're kind of on a fool's path because the Page card is valued at zero. There is no value. So they're the fool's path thinking that they're going to get what they want. Uh, they're basically, with the Page of Swords, they're the problem child. They're like two problem childs going on, in, on an adventure. They basically think they know it all. Uh, they think they can push boundaries. This is pushing boundaries. That's what they're doing. They want everyone to spy and talk about them. They want everyone to gossip about them, even spread lies. That is fuel, 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 fuel. Negative fuel is more powerful than positive fuel. So they're enjoying the fuel on the journey, controlling the direction. They also like the fact that people are investigating them, possibly thinking there could be a legal problem, such as he's abusive. So that's what they enjoy. They want that talk. They want that talk. They want people spying and gossiping and talking. So it's all about getting the fuel 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 it is total fuel hunting which is a classic sign of narcissism if you really want to know fuel is everything control and fuel is everything we have control and we have fuel that is a narcissist right there we've got two narc this is a narc on narc focal point focal point it's going to come to what they don't realize it's going to come to a very painful ending where they're going to need to heal their inner childhood wounds ten of swords in reverse the ending's not going to go as they planned to the point where it's the end of the adventure. The end of the adventure will come, thank God, because I'm not liking these pictures along with everybody else. Uh, they're going to let go of the path. They will let go of the path. They're going to hang on to it, but they'll be in denial about it. So they might be, they're going to deny probably the fact that they fought a lot about how they were going to control the direction. Past position that doesn't serve, they are not accepted in groups and organizations. Nobody wants them.
you're not welcome here. That's what happened when they did the, gon the gondola ride in Italy. Yeah, you're not coming back here. A lot of people are blocking them. You're just not accepted. Not welcomed. Uh, the approval of others is not there. Uh, they look like amateurs, uh, unprofessional. Uh, nobody wants to implement their ideas. Nobody sees whatever they're contributing uh, is a complete loser contribution. Nobody wants their contribution of design, fashion, whatever it is he thinks he's doing with his easy design. Uh, nobody's on the same page. Nobody's on the same page, and that does not serve. That's why they're doing this. This uh, He's like on his own little fashion tour. It's like a rebellion fashion tour of Yeezy is what I'm feeling here. <clears throat> it just feels morally wrong. Justice in reverse. Yeah, it's not going to go well for them. It's like a legal card. People are blocking them. You're not welcome. Don't come back here. Same thing with the gondola. You're not coming back here. Nobody's on the same page. Nobody's on the same page. It just feels morally wrong, morally corrupt, uh, pushing boundaries. It just is just the universe is going to play fair with them, and it's not going to be to their benefit with these two. It's going to come to an end. It will be shut down. It will come to an end. The, the commentary, the spying, the words, nobody's accepting them. So it, it will shut down because it's not being accepted. It's just too much negativity. I don't think they're going to find the, the plus benefits, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah, spending more money than what they should be and having to drop, drop the pattern of behavior with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. They will have to drop the pattern of behavior. Uh, they will not be able to maintain it with the Four in reverse. The four in reverse is basically too many restrictions. Where they go, people are going to restrict them. There's going to be a loss of control. They want to control the direction with this Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is about controlling your life. Here, now you're not going to be able to do that here. A lot of people are going to be blocking them from letting her, allowing her to parade around looking naked. So a lot of people can be like, no, this is coming to an end. It is coming to an end. This whole sheer transparent uh, body wear to the point where she's literally looking like she's walking around top was holding a pillow in front of her chest it is not going to bode well for most civilizations not welcome feelings in the situation cut now yeah he's gonna have to cut this out uh, not gonna it's, it's just ruthlessness he's just being absolutely ruthless in his attempts he is strategizing it he is planning it he is organizing it but it's going to the dark force area. This is where it's becoming kind of on the dark end where people are like, well, that is pushing it too far. This guy, King of Swords in Reverse, does not care what people think whatsoever. It's being very shrewd to the very dark, abrasive way. King of Swords in Reverse, his logic turns to cruelty. Uh, mental exhaustion, arrogance. Uh, he may end up facing a judge, jury, lawyer. You might have to lawyer up. This is lawyering up. This is the lawyer card. Having high standards, but he's got low standards. Very low standards. He's not being truthful and honest when he travels around doing what he's doing. Uh, he's going to be, his decisive actions could end up being shut down. Uh, people are going to cut it out. It's all right, we're not, we don't want this. We're not, it's back to execution. It's an execution of position. We don't want your int intentional actions. Take your intentional actions and go somewhere else with it. We don't want this visual, whatever visualization that you're providing us. We know you did made a decisive action. We know that you ruled through your head and not your emotions. We know you think it's fair and truthfully, but we think it's twisted and we're not into it. It's total arrogance. It is a king. King is valued at 13. So we have a 13 in reverse. That is a one and a three in reverse. So one in reverse is we don't want you. You're not gonna spark a focus here. You're not gonna spark and see any new beginnings here. Three in reverse, you're uncooperative, you're overindulgence, and we don't want you. You're not gonna grow here. You're making the wrong moves. We're not gonna collaborate with you, nor are we gonna do anything with you. We're not gonna ace any, any business with you. So this is gonna be a suffering of Yeezy. Yeezy's business is going to suffer because they're gonna just say no to him. He, he's gonna lose it. He's kind of losing his, he's losing it, you guys. Yeah, repeated psychological pattern of failure of the Five of Swords, but it came in reverse. So basically, it's like getting arrested. He's gonna get arrested. There will be an arrest for probably indecent exposure or being busted, called out, which he has been. 
We're going to arrest you next time you do this. You're not welcome here. You're not going to do drop the behavior or we're going to arrest you. So he cannot travel wherever he wants and get away with whatever he wants. Cer certain places are going to be like, no, 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 no. You better lawyer up here, buddy, because what you're doing is morally corrupt and we're in indecent exposure. We're not but playing your game. So he's going to need to lawyer up. There could be an arrest of Yeezy uh, based on the way his wife dresses. He's facing an arrest. Then we have here, he's not going to change his mind. God forbid if, he, if the narcissist should change his mind. He will never change his mind. He will never surrender or let go for other people. He will not break his old patterns or his thought process for anybody ever. He will claim victim. He will not sacrifice for others. He's a selfish, he's going to play selfish game. And he has a very limited perspective. It's only his perspective. What other people think does not matter. It does not matter what you think. I'll do what I want, even if he gets arrested. Then we have the final outcome. He's, he, this is his path. He's, hey, this is my journey. I'm going to do my journey. I don't care if you like it or not. I'm doing what I want to do. So this is the arrogance coming into play. He's very loyal and dedicated to his path. This is his journey. This is my path. I don't care if you like it or not. We're doing it. Even if it means getting arrested, you want me to stop. You want me to change my perspective and change. Even if I have to lawyer up, everyone hates it. Everyone's spying, saying lousy things about me. Uh, I am spending money to do it, so I will do what I want. I don't care if this is going to come to an end eventually, because it will. And I don't care if I'm accepted. Wow. Hell, I, woo. That is antisocial. If I've ever heard antisocial spread. I don't care what you think of me. I'm going to do exactly what I want. Uh, very arrested development with this, too. Like a 12-year-old, pages are 0 to 12 years old. So this is a child saying, this is my journey. He's very arrested development. Narcissists are arrested development. I've got two arrested development here. I want everyone to watch me and watch my journey. Does that scream narcissism or what? Watch my journey, and I'm the problem, child. I want to draw attention as attention as attention. Very NPD. Let's get to the bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck. Yep. Oh, geez. <laughs> there it is. There it is, you guys. There it is. High Refont, excuse me, High Priestess in reverse. High Priestess in reverse is the antisocial personality position. I don't care what you think. I'm not going to be idolistic. I'll do what I want. It's all subconsciously driven. He's subconsciously driven to be antisocial. My feelings is I don't think he's a psychopath. I think he's a sociopath and who has struggled in his childhood as well as her. She was, uh, she was around a lot of uh, violence, a lot of criminal activity uh, from her family. She comes from a family of sociopaths. It tends to be family genetics. Uh, I think he grew up probably in the ghetto, rough life, whatnot, and they tend to produce the most sociopaths. When you're in a violent home, violence, uh, uh, troubled childhood, they tend to produce the highest concentration of sociopaths. So I'm going with sociopath. Yes, I am. Uh, it is a two in reverse. So two in reverse is disharmony. Imbalances, a lot of breaking ties, a lot of opposition with people. They will never be idolistic individuals. They'll always try to do what's wrong, never do what's right. This is doing what's right. This is doing what's right. I don't care. I'm going to do it my way. I am self-focused. I'm going to repress my feelings. I'm all superficial. I'm a very disconnected individual, and I don't care if you know. I have no aces in my feelings, and I don't care what you think of me. I'm going to do what I want. I have no higher power and focus. I have no connection to spirit. I don't use my intuition, and I don't care if you know it. So very antisocial. <laughs> I always knew he was a narc, and, and Kim's a narc too. It was That was narc on narc, and then he just found a new narc, basically. He wants celebrity status. He's missing the celebrity status of being with Kim. He's very disappointed and let down because of it with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. He wants opportunities. He wants contracts. He's not getting them. People say he's a nutter. He's crazy. He has too many repeated psychological pattern of failure, mental illness. Nobody will back down. Nobody will back down from him having repeated issues. Nobody will give in to him. So he's going to create a problem. He's going to create a war. He's going to create a war on his fashion sense. So this is why he's doing what he wants. He's very disappointed that no one's interested in Yeezy. Nothing's going right. He lost a contract too. He lost a contract 
when he wouldn't bend and uh, he was showing so much nutter energy he lost he lost business lost money lost resources he lost his favorite resource his wife Kim he lost a basically she is because he's a narcissist she's only a she's only uh, she's an appliance she's an appliance so it's like he lost his main primary source of supply appliance he had to replace her so he's very let down a lot of delays and setbacks. He's very greedy. He's had money losses. He's had a lack of, lack of opportunities, too many setbacks, unexpected crisis losing Kim. Kim was his seed of confidence. He lost her. He lost his confidence. And when he got that divorce, he lost his star power being with her. It went in reverse. Lack of attention. I need attention as attention as attention. The star gets lots of attention. They glow up, they get a lot of attention, there's a lot of hope. They have a bird's eye view of how to get those new sparks, how to get that fulfillment. He's not getting the fulfillment, he's not getting the spark, he's on the wrong path. He's basically a very negative big picture, glowing down, wrong path, people saying no, out of alignment with others, very negative outlook. He's, he doesn't like being in the shadows. This is being in the shadows and being a wallflower. He doesn't want to be a wallflower. So what am I going to do? I'm going to spark something new. Woo! I'm going to concept, have this conception of a journey. So we're going on this journey, the Yeezy journey, fashion journey, and we're going to make it hot and sexy. We're going to make it possibly so men are going to want to have sex with my wife because it's the phallic symbol. So it's a way to get attention. They're traveling the globe with this let's travel the globe let's move around let's travel let's expand ourselves let's just get rid of what doesn't serve us let's just move move let's get a world view vision of Yeezy we're gonna walk away from what doesn't serve us and we're gonna get the world view vision of Yeezy because nothing's been working out nothing's been working out what happens now nobody was interested in him Nobody was interested with the Four of Cups. Woo, now everyone's looking at us. We have renewed interest now. But it's going to come to full stop. It will come to full stop because now it's negative attention. It's not going well. Everyone's saying, oh, God, that's awful. That's just awful. No one has passion for his design. So he is very much a dictator energy through his burdens. He's very burdened, so he's going dictator, okay? When you're burdened, he goes full dictator. So that's why he's doing it. He thinks he can move the obstacles out of his way, but he does, He can't. He lacks confidence. Uh, he's being a bully tyrant. He's had a lot of setbacks. He's not succeeding. His vitality and energy is, is tanking. So what is he going to do? He's going to dictate it. He's going to be pushy. He's going to be impulsive. And he's going to coerce the whole situation by... Planning and strategizing, being a strategizer. There's no emotion in this situation. I don't see love in this marriage. I see business, calculation, attention is attention, narcissism, and trying to repair what he lost when he was with Kim and doing it with a different female, a new primary source of supply. She doesn't mind it. She's used to toxicity because that's what she grew up with. So she doesn't see anything different. I'm not seeing abuse on the table, but what I see is a narc on narc relationship, just as I figured. I hope you enjoyed this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.